Hey guys, uh, we're down here at Outdoor Adventures in uh, Wyandotte, Oklahoma, on our spring hog hunt. Uh, it's our second, my second time being here. Uh, my, Ike's been here a few times. Uh, we got Kyle and Megan, Ike and Lindsay, and Brittany and I. And uh, we're gonna—it's exciting. It's—it's it's cool. It's 42 degrees, something like that. It's supposed to get up around 60 today. Not too much wind. So. Uh, we're all just kind of splitting up, and we're going to do a little stalking this morning, see if we can't slip up on a pig. So uh, We're just going to ease on to the, on into the timber and, and uh, see if we can stir something up. Shoot. Every time I had them in the open, there was hogs around them, in front of them, behind them. They're close enough to, I mean, I know they didn't smell us, the wind's in our favor, but animals, you know, they have that, that sense, they know when something's, something's up, and then, hell, here we are standing on the ground. 12 yards from them. They never caught us moving. Well, they didn't catch us moving at first. I think they, a couple of them probably saw me draw my bow, but they just, they knew something wasn't right. When they come, you could tell the way they were coming up that ridge. They weren't comfortable. They, 
they're wanting to be up here really bad. They, they come up here, got up here the first time, and they seen us, and we weren't moving then. I, we were all standing, we were both standing still, and they turned. They got uncomfortable and went down to the bottom. They were wanting to be up here really bad because they got down there at the bottom and huddled up and they were, I don't know, they were making a lot of noise. I think they were trying to draw straws and see which one had to be the first one up the ridge. But pretty soon it's like they had enough and they started coming up here, you know, hell or hot water, they were coming up here at the top of this ridge. And they did. And they, they got up here just like I thought they would. But like I said, the, if one of the bigger ones would have been the first one up, I would have got a good shot. But by the time the bigger ones were in the middle of the pack, and by the time they got up here, the little ones had already seen me. And once I went to draw my bow, it was over with. So we're gonna have to get off this mountain. All right, guys. As you can see, the the scenery's changed a little bit. Uh, Brittany is pregnant. And by pregnant, I mean really pregnant. And uh, she did a hell of a job this morning keeping up as we're trying to stalk these pigs. But uh, pregnant girls only got so much in the tank, so she was ready to find a place to sit down. So we crawled up here in the redneck blind and we're overlooking the, the pond. And uh, it's getting a little bit warm, so we're hoping these hogs will be coming to water anyway. So uh, we're just going to sit tight and see what happens. There's a big behind us. I can see the reflection.
Here I was, not even. No words of stand pots. Give me a second, folks. Dude, that was crazy. Here I was, a little bit uneasy about. Not really uneasy, but I was, I was kind of curious about what, how a how a mechanical broadhead would perform on a hog. But as you could just see, I mean, that rage just blew plumb through him. I'm looking at the arrow land back there. I mean, it's a 20 yard shot, but I mean, it blew through him good. So we'll give this a minute to clear out and we'll go get him. guys here we are uh, like I said that he didn't go 25 yards maybe 30 but I mean just look at this this is the entrance side guys uh, blue plumb through him we haven't really flipped him over and, and examined the other side to see what the exit looked like but as, a, as my boss would say good Gertie what a gash that it may be like throwing a damn axe through him I mean just lung blood and bubbles everywhere but I mean, I'm not kidding you I, I'm sure you guys can see, and I know Brittany zoomed in, but man, that is an impressive entrance hole. So, uh, golly, Rage, thank you. Uh, I've been reluctant um, to go to a mechanical. I just, I've always, you know, kind of been a fan of, of shooting a fixed blade, but this might have changed things for me. So, anyways, we're gonna we're gonna get this thing back to back to the truck, and we're gonna see if we can help Kyle get his hog now. <laughs> 